So this video is the continuation of previous video which was named as Mule 4 M Unit Basics. In the previous video we had made a simple M unit wherein we did an integration testing with the flow. It called the flow reference as well. So it was not a unit test. So in this tutorial I'm going to do a unit test wherein I'll be using the behavior part of this test. So to start with, I'll use the test palette and it will create a test block for me. Now since the test case is almost same, what I'll be doing here is I'll just mock this flow reference. Instead of making an actual call to the flow, I would give a dummy response or a mocked response. So other things would remain the same. So I'll copy this and paste it in execution and the flow ref as well okay and the assert as well now to mock the flow reference over here all I need to do is use mock when so mock when would mock the flow when it is being called and it will give a dummy response that I, I can set it over here so in processor I would need to write as mule colon flow flow ref since I am mocking the flow reference and in attributes I will have to edit them in line and add an attribute which is attribute name would be name and the value is the flow that I am subflow that I'm going to mock and the name of the subflow is eligible eligible let's save this if you can see over here the name of the subflow is eligible so I have written the same okay the value got lost I'll have to write it again name and okay and when the flow reference is being called I need to re also return a value a dummy value that I'll be setting so I'll edit that in line so we can set all many values like payload attributes error variables session properties inbound properties outbound properties but currently since our response is a payload the transform message is returning a response I would set a payload over here so to set a payload I click on payload and the value value would be the actual response that we are trying to send so it should be the same as that we are expect expecting in this assert so I'll instead copy and paste it okay let's check it in configuration XML so for for some reason it's not saving the value in the, uh, okay we have it it's two times I'll delete one okay so the attributes are also saved now so what we have done over here is I have 
I have set the processor. Processor is a flow reference processor, so it's going to mock that. And I have edited the value that which flow reference, the flow reference that is named as eligible has to be mocked when called. And I have set the payload with value. This is the value. And what is the media type? It is application JSON. So since I am only uh, interested in payload, I have checked the payload mark. Other other things are not required as such in this. Now I want only this unit test to be run. So I'll just comment out this test case by using ignore test. So this test would be ignored. And you can see the icon blocked icon has come over here. So now let's run the test case and click on run M unit suite. Okay, so it seems that our test case has failed. Let us see for the error. So, what is the error over here? Okay, error in creating bean. Let's find the root cause. Cannot create bean. Cannot create bean. Okay, so here it is. Element is not defined in mule registry. Okay, so this occurs when in the mock when when you edit this value this has to be a string Inside it has to be in a function otherwise it will check the value in mule registry so it, it, it failed to find out the value so I have to write it in function and make it as a string so then it would work otherwise if you haven't added it as a function it would search that value in mule registry and that's the reason it's throwing that error it didn't find the value in mule registry should work now let's try it out okay so the test case has passed successfully and the previous test case has been ignored so this is how you can use mock when the only thing that has to be kept in mind over here is when you use mock when and while you're returning in then return ensure that you select the value as the function and write it inside the function otherwise it's going to actually look in that value in the mule registry and the same applies for attributes as well so any key value pair or value that you enter has to be inside a function to avoid mule checking it in mule registry otherwise it would fail so that's it for this video thanks for watching